For the second time in three years, the North Scott football team back at the Dome this evening. The Lancers in the 4A state semifinals tonight battling a very familiar foe. To the Unidome we go, North Scott and Cedar Rapids. Xavier in a rematch from earlier in the season. First quarter of this one, Xavier with a quick start. Rowan Thomas goes in from one yard out. Saints snag a quick 7-0 lead. Second quarter, North Scott down 14-0. The offense shows some life. Kyler Girardi calls his own number, picks up the huge gain into enemy territory for a first down. That would lead to this. Liam Reagan with the 30-yard field goal. Lancers on the scoreboard. They cut the lead to 14-3. Saints answer quickly. Thomas airing it out here off the play fake to Grayson Hartman. This one goes 91 yards. Xavier extending their lead to 21-3. Late second quarter, Xavier looking for more, but the North Scott defense with a big play. As they strip the football, A.J. Peterson recovers. Lancers dodge a bullet, but they still trail 24-3 at the break. Third quarter, Xavier up big. Lancers get that offense going again. Girardi scrambling, throwing downfield, finding Cole Jennings. But a big pickup down to the 11-yard line. Very next play, it's Girardi again continuing to make plays, this time with his feet as he darts for the pylon, getting North Scott's first Touchdown of the game, unfortunately, their only touchdown as well. That cut it to 38-10, that's as close as they would get. The Saints win this one, 38-10, ending North Scott's fine season in the state semifinals. Corey Kuffler is live at the Unidome with more. Hey, Cuff. Hey, Matt, yeah, as you mentioned, North Scott losing today in the state semifinals to Xavier, the number one seed in the playoffs right now. They used short field early on to get that 14-0 lead, and then they hit some big plays to extend it to 38-3 before North Scott got a touchdown. They did get some momentum at the end, but despite the fact that they fell in this game, there is still plenty for the Lancers to be proud of as they made it back to the Dome for the second time in three years. Extremely proud of these guys. You know, we just talked about that same thing in the locker room. You know, people left us for dead when we were three and two, and you know our, our kids bought into what we were coaching, and they bought into everything we were telling them. And you know, our kids really, you know, they changed what we were doing day to day, and, and we kept getting better. And they took us on a great ride. Everyone in that locker room, they're, they're my best friends, and just to be able to go out there every day at practice and play with them, it's special. You know, it just shows how and how awesome we all are. Just. Everyone counted us out. We didn't count ourselves out. We just stuck together. We stuck, We just kept fighting. I'm, I'm super proud of this team, you know. Losing two in a row, obviously, we, we bounced back from that. Had a couple of great wins tonight, and it's football. We just, they just came out and beat us tonight. You know, we, we weren't going to go out quitting, you know. That's not how this team wanted to go out or was going to go out. North Scott definitely did fight till the end. Now they do lose some key seniors from this team that got them back to the dome, but they do bring some big pieces back next year. And you can bet Kevin Tippett will have his team ready to play. The Lancers finish the year at nine and three and will add another state trophy to their trophy case. But for now, live from Cedar Falls at the Unidome, Corey Kuffler, WQAD News 8 Sports. Thanks, Cuff, and of course, congratulations on a fine season to North Scott.